The poster on the wall in Boldini's painting, The Guitar Player, advertises a bullfight in the southern Spanish city of Seville. This lends an extra element of local color to the image of a beautiful young woman serenading a bullfighter, accompanying herself on the guitar. The painting was once, not surprisingly, entitled Serenade to the Toreador. In fact, the painting is a delicious fiction, painted in 1873, just two years after Boldini moved to Paris from his hometown of Ferrara in northern Italy. Boldini didn't visit Spain until the late 1880s, but he knew the work of Spanish artists like Mariano Fortuny and Madrazzo y Garetta, who were also based in Paris. And he was well aware of how popular Spanish scenes were with French collectors at the time. Though small in scale, the painting is a virtuoso performance. Boldini's skills as a draftsman can be seen in the precise lines of the young woman's forearm and wrist, and in the alignment of her fingers, which rest on the body of the guitar as she strums the strings with her thumb. This precision contrasts very effectively with the lusciously creamy paint of her dress. A confection of shimmering pink satin decorated with a profusion of black lace. Her lips, parted in song, are painted with the same vibrant red as the flower tucked behind her ear. In the background, a young toreador wearing the traditional bullfighter's suit of lights leans against the wall, his arms cradling one knee, a flask of wine beside him on the wooden table, a cigarette nonchalantly drooping between his lips. His gaze seems to be fixed on the young woman's left hand as it picks out a chord on the neck of the guitar. If music is the food of love, it seems likely that this performance might become the prelude to a romantic encounter between the singer and the self-assured young man in the tight green breeches. Several artists more usually associated with the Impressionists also responded to the fashion for paintings of Spanish subjects. Boldini's close friend Manet had painted several works with Spanish themes during the 1860s, including the famous Spanish guitarist, now in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Another work with a Spanish theme in the Clark's permanent collection, Mary Cassatt's painting, Offering the Panal, was painted in the same year as Boldini's guitar player. 